Have you ever wondered what happens in the brain to keep us awake and alert? This is the mystery of consciousness, an enigma that has puzzled scientists and philosophers alike for centuries. It's the essence of our being, the silent observer behind our thoughts and experiences. At the heart of understanding consciousness is understanding our brain, how it functions, how it's wired, how trillions of neurons connect and communicate to create our reality. Today we delve into a groundbreaking research initiative aiming to create a high-resolution map of the very brain cells responsible for maintaining our wakefulness. This ambitious project is not just about demystifying consciousness, but also about unlocking potential ways to treat conditions that affect it, such as coma and vegetative states. So, how did scientists go about this ambitious project of mapping the brain's wakefulness network? Mapping the brain's wakefulness network was no easy task. It involved the intricate process of scanning post-mortem brain tissue, revealing the complex network that keeps us alert and awake. These scans produced incredibly high-resolution maps of the brain's subcortical structures, areas previously linked to alertness. The team then painstakingly traced the connections between brain cells within these structures, following the theoretical path water would take along their wires. This unique approach, utilizing MRI's ability to capture metrics, helps to reveal how strongly different nodes within a network are interconnected. Further supporting their findings, the team analyzed functional MRI data from over 80 individuals participating in the Human Connectomy Project. This government-led initiative aims to map all the networks within the human brain. These additional scans, tracking oxygenated blood flow, provided further insights into the brain's intricate traffic patterns. So, what did these detailed maps reveal? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the nodes of wakefulness in our next segment. The results of this painstaking research were nothing short of fascinating. The team's meticulous investigations led to the discovery of the primary nodes of the wakefulness network nestled within several subcortical structures, namely the brainstem, hypothalamus and thalamus, as well as a segment of the cortex referred to as the basal forebrain. This network is linked with a circuit that is deeply involved in our consciousness, a circuit known as the default mode network. This network is particularly active during periods of daydreaming or when our minds are not focused on a specific task. The research was further bolstered by the use of functional MRI data from the Human Connectomy Project, a government initiative aimed at mapping all networks within the human brain. This added a layer of depth to the findings, highlighting the interplay of networks that contribute to our awareness and alertness. So, what does this mean for our understanding of consciousness and its potential applications? The implications of this research could be far-reaching. Current understanding of conditions like coma, vegetative or minimally conscious states could be revolutionized. The map could serve as a powerful tool, enabling us to navigate the complex terrain of these conditions more effectively. Imagine being able to pinpoint exactly where consciousness is lost in the brain and having a chance to restore it. But the journey doesn't end here. Scientists are looking forward to enhancing the resolution of this map further. With every improvement, they are inching closer to the ultimate goal, a comprehensive understanding of the human brain. The prospect is thrilling, isn't it? A clearer map of the brain's wakefulness network could lead to unprecedented breakthroughs in neuroscience. It could redefine our understanding of consciousness and the intricate workings of our mind. While we may not have all the answers yet, this research brings us a step closer to understanding the complexities of consciousness and the human brain.